2008 Misfire. Okay. Let's see, it's shaking pretty good. There's PCM. There's my wiring diagram. PCM there. Control one, control two, control three, control two is uh, the one in question, I believe. But we'll check them all. Get it. All right. It's flashing. Now, if you notice, it's not flashing. And here's the last one. All flashing except the one. It needs a computer. Got their old coil here. Why did that computer burn up? It does need a coil. Um, the coil is shorted, and what happened is that it was it's it's shorted completely, so it burned the computer up. That's what happened. All right, if you look, I have it. Uh, this is ohm meter. Okay. And on this one right there, okay, 1.2 ohms, that's okay. And that one right there, 1.2 ohms again. All right, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, that's, that's 1.2 ohms of resistance. And then here is the middle one, which is this, this coil, your two, number two and number five cylinder. That's the control wire right there. So I'm on there and you're at 0.6. It killed the computer. It burnt that, uh, it burnt that um, transistor up, the MOSFET transistor, transistor that's in there. Wouldn't, <coughs> wouldn't write the VIN. Um, turn the ignition key on, I do have it on. Keep getting the same error that comes up right around here. When I uh, set up here on the stove, turn the key off. Not reading it. I don't know how long the wait, but uh, it's not <coughs> not doing anything. Can't write nothing in. Even when I come here, I do all the same things. You know, I try to read the ECM. Turn the key on. There is some communication going on. I can see the can going, but a little uh, wheel up there. But it won't do anything, it'll just tell me to turn the key off and it'll come up with the error code down there. In the off position. And I've tried it both ways. I tried it, um, see there's that error code. Vehicle protocol. I tried it both ways. I tried it leaving this on. I tried to turn, tried turning them both off. Um, I rechecked my wiring, make sure I was in the right pins. And that's where I'm at with this. Um, that's the old. That's the burnout one.
You see the burn mark right there. And I got it out of the board. It was a uh, pointing device. It was right there in between those two. That one I just cleaned off so I can get the numbers off of it because this one was so burnt up. This one was so burnt I couldn't read the numbers off of it. The new hot air kit works really, really good. Uh, pads are all clean. I cleaned up as much as I could. I don't have the uh, conformal uh, stripper yet or the coating uh, that's supposed to be coming today, but I was able to use, I did use alcohol, cleaned it up pretty good. So, but I'm gonna go over it again with the uh, the uh, conformal cleaner, uh, stripper, and then uh, whenever that MOSFET comes in, this thing's gonna, this thing's gonna run like no. And I gotta clean up, I gotta clean the edges up a little better. Um, so I can get a good seal, but that's about it. This is post repair. I'm gonna just check everything. Um, see up there, pin ten um, is coil one. Coil two is the one that failed, but I'm gonna test them all. All right, that's pin ten, which is. Right there, 10, uh, coil control one. Okay, I got a, I got this uh, hooked up just for ease of showing it. And I'm going to go there. And uh, I got the coating back on these, so it's kind of glossy and hard to see, but good there all right and uh you know just testing all the other ones there's nothing going through that one nothing through that one we'll come back over here and we're going to go to pin number nine which is to the just to the left of that it's pin number nine pin number pin number nine is uh, coil control two that's the one that was burnt out, and that's the middle one. Okay, so we're gonna go, oops, come on. Right there, good. Around the base, good. And the final one is pin seven, right there. 10, 9, 8, 7. Pin 7 is my coil control for 3. Flip it back over. It's the bottom one. Same thing. Test. Uh, good there. And good there. Came out pretty good. It's really glossy with that. With that. Um, Stuff in there. Oh, that makes it easier if I just zoom in rather than trying to get closer. Um, yep. And you can see the numbers there. G18 N40 BG. Nice. Nice little bead. Taped it up a little just in case so it doesn't look like crap if it's all over. Couldn't find my masking tape, so I had to use duct tape. But <clears throat> place your bets, put it back together, clamp it up, let it sit, and try it out tomorrow. And the Jeep is alive. I had to uh, <clears throat> I had to relearn the uh, ECT. I haven't done the cranky run yet, but uh, it's in. Uh, Got to bleed this yet. The one I did the thermostat housing gasket is leaking, but it is working. PCM is repaired.